Hey there guys, it's Beer Taster America. Guys, I'm out here in the desert. That's a saguaro cactus. That cactus, that's probably a good, at least 40 feet tall. Guys, I'm up here in the hills, like I like to do whenever I get a chance. I'm here to do a beer review. Today I'll be reviewing Bass Ale. Guys, it's Bass Ale. The world's first pale ale. Bass Ale, brewed by William Bass and Companies. Merrimack, New Hampshire. I don't think I've ever had one brewed in Merrimack, New Hampshire. I used to live not far from there. Their water comes from the Merrimack River, I would assume. And um, I drank Merrimack River water for a long time, man. A lot of years. That was my drinking water out of my tap. Guys, it's Bass Ale, brewed in New Hampshire. They claim to be the world's first pale ale. This is an old and popular, internationally known beer. You can find it pretty much anywhere in the world. And um, it's always had a good following. My understanding, if I can recall correctly, is that you know some people think this isn't as good as Bass used to be, that it's been changed. A lot of people still like it and think it's a good beer. Guys, it's bass. Got a nice looking bottle, distinctive design. The red triangle. Bass. Let me tell you how it smells. It's a little bit windy. I hope you can hear me. And hopefully I can smell. You know, it's got kind of like a maltiness to it, maltiness. Not the greatest aroma, you know, it's not the worst or the greatest, but it smells a little bit malty. Alright, let's go for the taste. You taste a maltiness to this, like a roasted, grainy kind of malt flavor. A little bit toasted. And um there's a bitterness, you know, there's there's certainly a bitterness at the end there. Bitter kind of hop. There's no pininess to it at all. I don't know if that like piney hoppy kind of flavor, but there's, there's a distinctive like puckering little bit of bitterness at the end. There's some hop flavor to it, but just with that bitter kind of flavor. Got a lot of carbonation in a medium body. It's got a nice little hop brightness at the end. Some hop flavor. This is really good. I've had bass in, in the past and not liked it as much as this, this bottle is. Really good to have. If I recall, I mean, I thought they were being. Here. Last time I checked, I thought they were being brewed in, in uh, Canada, like up in the same area where they brew Guinness over there in Canada. I thought that's where they were making this big red stripe. They make a bunch of beers. Like that. This is brewed in New Hampshire, and it's pretty good. It's, it's not a super strong beer. I believe it's 5.1%. Let me check. 5.1% alcohol. Like I said, it's medium bodied. The flavors aren't super bold by any means, but it's well balanced. That wind is picking up. I hope you can still hear me. It's well balanced and it's an enjoyable beer. It's not light, it's not heavy, it's in between. It's still kind of refreshing. It has a good taste. Not a very strong flavor, but the flavor's there. It's a nice malt. Nice little bit of hops, good balance, well carbonated, medium body beer. Got a nice, earthy kind of lightly roasted malt, grain kind of flavor. It's malt, really, just a malt flavor. And uh, a nice, bright little hop bitterness at the end. It's an enjoyable beer, and you can find this anywhere. 
Guys, this wind is kicking my ass. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to sign out, guys. It's Bass Hill.